All right, let's play some Recto Sacrifice. And somebody asked in chat what Braids does, so let's pull up Braids real quick. All right, this is Braids. So it is a 3-3 three, three for 3. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a creature, or excuse me, artifact creature, enchantment, lander, planeswalker. If you do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. If they don't, you they lose two life and you draw cards. So basically, like, you know, it's... If, if they have nothing in play, then you're essentially just trading us, you know, you're sacrificing one permanent to make, make them lose two life and you draw a card, which is like, this might sound a little crazy, but the way that I look at this, I look at this as kind of a three mana Corvold. It's not quite as powerful because it don't, you know, it only triggers once per turn, but it's just, I don't know. I, I like this card a lot and I'm really excited to play this. So I want to see how this goes. Young Dingo, thank you for the raid. This is probably going to be my last league today because I, I do got to get out of here at some point. I got a reservation tonight for going out for a birthday dinner. But thank you again for the raid, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you for... Hope you, get, hope you had a good stream. Welcome, everybody, from Dingo Stream. We're going to be switching to some Racto Sacrifice with Dominaria United cards. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Take care. All right, we're playing one Braids. And then I also have one copy of the Weatherlight completed. I don't really know if this card's actually good, but it seems decent if you can get it going with, like, Cat plus Oven, because you can trigger this, you know, multiple times in a turn. Um, th this one is more of a skeptical card, but I wanted to try it out. But Braids, I'm, I'm pretty high on. I think Braids is pretty good, so. I'm super excited about Braids. It's true, a Social Light is going to pre-release. Ooh, two Braids. <laughs> Not exactly the best opening hand. Uh, I kind of want to keep it because it has braids, but this hand's pretty bad. All right, I'm all again. Okay, this is a this is a better hand with braids. I've played against this person a lot before, and I think they always play blue white control, so I'm tempted to put back the push. <clears throat> it's a little bit greedy, but I think I'm gonna do that. What's up, Landon? It's killing time. And it's cool that Epicure gives us, like, a, a thing to sack to Braids to draw carbs. Kind of kind of sweet. I'm trying to get a date this weekend so don't tell my wife. All right. Your secret is safe with me. I don't know if it's safe with Twitch chat, but it's safe with me. The one thing I didn't mention in the intro is Braids does mean that you lose access to Jagatha, so that could be a massive downside. So something you want to think about. You know, it's not, all, it's not just a free roll, because you do lose access to Jagatha, so... Oh, Jund with Seder Wayfinder, huh? Whoa, what the hell? Chat, I'm scared. Uh, okay, so I can go Braid, sack this, draw a card. Obviously, I don't want to sack this because they just sack the Wayfinder. Yeah, let's go untap. Probably going to keep the Epicure in play. Yeah, I'm not going to attack. I'm going to sack the Blood, draw a card. Twitch chat ain't no snitches. <laughs> Alright, so far, Braids has drawn one card and dealt our opponent two damage. Not bad. Not bad. Not, like, insane or anything, but... Tireless Tracker. Okay, question. How does Mayhem Devil work with Braids? Like, example, if I sack my Epicure, they sacrifice before the Devil Trigger goes on the stack, right? Because this has to finish resolving before I can put the Devil Trigger on the stack. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to attack with Braids. See if they want to trade with Tracker, because I have a second Braids anyways. <clears throat> yeah, this trade ends up being decent for me. So now I can go play Sokens on, play Cat, play Braids. Then I think probably sack the Cat. I could sack a land here. Because I think they're less likely to be want they're less likely to want to sacrifice a land. Yeah, let's do that actually. Herbor gearing the game. I mean, I could have played these as black sources, right? All right, they chose not to sack a land. Shadra downtick is kind of awkward here. Oh, that's also pretty bad. Did not draw a fatal push. Does not looking great, chat. Not looking great. I guess we just have to hope they don't have a removal spell in their hand. So the question is, do I want to sacrifice a land? You know they have stopping ground in hand, which means they they do have like an extra land in hand. It's kind of awkward. Obviously, I don't think I want to sacrifice a creature because they just get the Cletus. So I think that's kind of bad. 
I think I'm not supposed to sack a land, although it does get me closer to Fatal Push. I probably am, actually. I do get a Devil Trigger for what that's worth. I can kill their Wayfinder. Oh, actually, this is good, because now I can set up... Yeah, yeah, because yeah, now I can try to set up Mayhem Dare. I can try to set up Braids the Kalidus. I don't know if that's going to work, but, you know. No blocks. They had, like, a Sweeper of some sort. But obviously, we can't beat Anger. Soul of Wind Grace. Okay. Get back a land. Cannot claim the Firstborn either of those. That's a little awkward. Hmm. Interesting. Now I might want to sacrifice a creature, although it gives them a 2-2. They can probably just take 2, right? The cool thing about end of turn sacrificing something is if I hit the Fatal Push, that I can still cast the Fatal Push on my end step. This is tough. Kalidus is such a pain in the ass. Let's play Cat. I guess the awkward part about using the Braids is it actually turns on their Fatal Push if they have it. That's pretty awkward. Levin. What if I attack with everything? Just block Braids, take five. Get a zombie, that's bad. I guess I can kill the Soul of Windgrace if I do that, right? If they don't block the Devil, but they probably just block the Devil at that point. Claim an attack. I can't claim this, it's, it's three or less. I think I'm going to just go to my end step, sack the Hive, and hope to rip Fatal Push. <clears throat> rip Soul of Windgrace from a draft is a good Pioneer. I don't think it's good in Pioneer. I mean, it's pretty cool. My, po my opponent's got some cool stuff going on. Oh, sacking a land is dumb. Because they have the soul in play. Yeah, it's a sacking a land doesn't do anything against the soul. Yeah, they very easily just sack a land here. Yeah, this is, this is a rough spot. They probably also have Fatal Push. Seems like we are dead. Couldn't beat the Kalidus. Oh yeah, they're just activating that. Okay, sure. Mm hmm. Okay. Just ping them for two. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't do nothing, but if I just take this. I just need to find a fatal push. If I find a push, I think I'm back in this game. It's got to happen pretty quickly, though. Hmm. Well, I can sacrifice oven, and they don't have an artifact, so they can't. It's just a guaranteed draw one. Could also claim the wayfinder. Okay, here we go. What if I claim the wayfinder? Attack with everything. I guess they have. They can't activate the hive. So claim the wayfinder. I should have played the oven first. Attack with everything. This is ten damage. So they go to five. All right, they're gonna gain life with the soul. Makes sense. So they go to eight. Play witch's oven. Tap the oven, sack the Wayfinder. Oh, I guess that gives them a 2-2, huh? <coughs> that might have been bad. 5, 8, 10. Yeah, I forgot about giving them a 1-1. One, one. But I have an extra artifact to sacrifice to the to the braids now, which is kind of cool. But I said I was going to make Kin and Band of Pioneer. I think it's not, the, it's not in the guards after all. You sure about that? Why not, though? Could kill the zombie. Oh, I could have pinged the zombie, then sacked the food token. But if I if I kill the zombie, they just sack to Kalidus, right? I think I just have to draw Fatal Push. I think that's my way out of this. Because they have three mana to sack the zombie to Kalidus. That is not Fatal Push. Oh, we're just dead on board, right? Yeah, we're just dead on board because they have the Hive. Beats. Beats, beats, beats. Maybe I'm supposed to sack the food. Maybe I'm supposed to sack the oven to the braids and then crack the food. Because that puts me to 14. And they only have 13 on board. Yeah, probably supposed to do that. And like, they obviously know I don't have Fatal Push because I would have cast it on my turn. So they just 100% go for it here. Puts them at 2. Well, they gained 5 from the, from the Kalidus, right? So it's like... I would have given myself a draw step, I think. So, like, if I do it that way, they go to eight. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's a different game. All right. So, against them, I don't think claims seem that good. I am going to bring in Kari's Evs, though, because Kari's Evs is nuts against Kalidus and Soul of Windgrace. 
Uh, I don't think I want hers. Damping Sphere is kind of mid. Goblank's kind of mid. They're not doing that much with the graveyard. I'm going to bring in two more answers to Kalidus. And maybe I just cut all the claims. Claim was, uh, of the cards that they showed, I guess Claim's good against Tracker. Claim does seem decent against Tracker. I like the Epicures, because they're kind of low impact. Let's keep two Claims in. Alright, play first. Uh, this hand's good. I think I'm going to lead on Oven, in case they have Thoughtseize, because it's the card I want to keep and play the most. I may miss like a point of damage or two, but if they have Thoughtseize, I just want this in play. Especially with the Claim. I guess I have the dispute too, but can't turn back the clock. Can't turn back the yep clock. Uh huh. <coughs> Def cap glade. Oh, that's another good target for claim. Hurts more, guess I will still die for you. I don't think I want to claim the Wayfinder. I could dispute Sack Witness. It's not bad. Let's do that. Ooh. I mean, I have to play it, right? It's a new card. I am obligated to cast it. I don't know if it's actually good, but. Ray Scanner, John Cryos. Okay, your turn. We will see if the weather light completed is actually good. Can you turn back your chess clock? I don't think you're allowed to do that. <clears throat> okay, that's good for us. Uh, bottom. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go claim this fucker. Yeah, I guess we just go attack for two. Get a treasure. Just take two. Sack this to this. Uh, I'm gonna top this in Kate because they're like likely to play a solar a, a Kalidus next turn, so I'm just gonna top that. This feels pretty good. Yeah, they're so likely to play a 4-drop next turn that I think putting that on top is good. Weatherlight doesn't feel that bad, to be honest with you. Just, like, getting free scries every time you have Oven. It's kind of cool. Traverse. Traverse for a basic land. Weatherlight is so good until 4-counter. What do you mean? Oh, because then it makes it a creature. Because then they're, more like, they're likely to be able to kill it at that point. Yeah, that's fair. Because you, you, you just actively don't want it to be a creature, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then it dies. <laughs> you just never want this thing to become a 5-5 five -five flyer, which is kind of hilarious. Blow up the oven, get back ooze. Well, that's rude. Uh, sure. Not even respecting the weather like completed, huh? Just no respect. Yeah, this is a game I'm definitely missing, Jagatha. They can draw cards. You have to get the seven counters, though. <clears throat> so we're drawing Akari Zevs, which is not great, but... Yeah, it needs seven counters to draw. So basically, it's... Scr oh, they're actually trading. That's a good trade for me, I think. Uh, do I scry before the witness? I think I should witness first, right? Because then I get information on the scry. So that's really fucking good. And then I think I'm going to keep the village rights. Because then I can draw the village rights off the braids. Uh, I can just sack the cat. Yeah, I can sack the cat because I have the food to get it back. So I can go go to end step, sack the cat. Uh, yeah, top that. That one's good. And wow, that that was a good turn. That was a good turn. I think Braids is sick. Dread War. Mm. Alright, I'm just Village Rights it. Oh, it counts itself too, which is kind of pog, but... These new cards seem sick. Yeah, they felt pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and the Weatherlight died. <laughs> Anyone surprised that the Weatherlight died? 
<laughs> Alright, three lands on a fable, sure. By sack an artifact creature with braids, opponent to sack an artifact and a creature. No, they get to choose. If you sacrifice an artifact creature, they get to choose artifact or creature. Uh, they're at 12. Can I kill them? Back cat. We'll change. I'm pretty close to being able to kill them. So let's go... Kari Zevs. Uh, do I even want a Kari Zevs this thing? I kind of want to save Kari Zevs for like a card I actually care about. If I attack, they probably double block. I guess I have the Dreadbore. So I guess I'll just go Kari Zevs this thing. Cast the Oven for free, I think. And then we can go... Attack with everything. This probably prompts a chump block. Yeah, chump block is fine. They go to eight. Then we go deadly dispute, sack the reflection. That should kill them next turn. It doesn't kill them this turn, so I'm just not going to play it. And then... Question is, do I sack a treasure? I think I sack a treasure to braids, because I just want the card. I guess I could have sacked the cat. But I don't have a food left over to get the cat back once I, you know what I mean? Kalitas. Okay, it's fine. We got answers for that thing. Oh, I should have sacked the culture familiar first, but it's fine. They're dead. Yeah, I should have sacked this first, obviously. They are dead. And Braids felt really nice that game, huh? Like, the Weatherlight was decent, too. Up until the point that it died. That's like the super awkward part about this card. It's like, it seems pretty powerful, but you just never want to, you know, it's just always going to die once it gets to four counters. So it's like super awkward. <laughs> kind of demands an answer. It does. Don't, it definitely does. Like it's a if it's a five five flyer, and if it gets three more counters, then you just start drawing cards. It, it certainly demands an answer. It's it's powerful. I think it's good as a one of. I like it as a one of. It's just like the problem with it. It's kind of a bad top deck if you don't have other stuff going along with it. Whereas like I think Braids is a slightly better top deck. You sink a five in the air with the deck that has this much reach. Yeah, that's true too. Ooh, might have been better to play Cauldron Familiar first there, because then I can go double spell next turn. Whereas I, I won't necessarily be able to double spell this turn, because I want to play the Den. Yeah, that was probably bad. I should have played Cat on one. Seder Wayfinder. You said that the end build X is pretty bad against Monogreen. I thought that too. The last text that made good just challenge they messed up the builds for nice against Monogreen. I mean, they also may have just dodged the matchup too, right? Like, I, I don't know exactly what their matchup spread was. All right, do I want a Devil here? Yeah, I think Deviling now is probably fine. Because then I have Kari's if they, if they slam Kalidus next turn. I'm just going to kill all their stuff now. Thereabouts. Your move. Kari Zev seems to play. Wait, you wanted to Kari Zev the 3 2? No. I, I, you have to save Kari Zev's for Kalidus. Always have to save Kari Zev's for Kalidus. That's the whole reason it's in your deck. In a matchup like this, you know. Traverse for a basic. Troll Despair. Scavenging Ooze. Okay. Uh. If I Karius Evs the Ooze, I wonder if I can get them. What if I just go Village Rights my cat? I should play the other cat first, though. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's go Village Rights cat. Or excuse me. Play cat. Village Rights sack the new cat. Yeah, this works, right? Target the Ooze. Yeah, because then I go Oven... Mm. I guess they just eat the one that I target, right? I guess I should attack first? This is kind of weird. So I can kill the ooze, right? Where I go, I can sack the other cat that's in play, ping the ooze, and then I have two cats and a food. I sack the food, get back cat. They, it, the ooze dies, but they do 
Saculi cat. Oh, right, because they have to ping now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to ping right now. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. They have to ping right now. So we lose a cat, but that's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Right, because they, they have to they have to act first, basically. Right. Kill the ooze. Back for three. They go to twelve. Yeah, they have to eat in response. So it ends up being the same thing, but I at least have the cat in play, rather than not having the cat in play, right? So now they slam Kalidus and they lose the Kari Zevs. Kari Zevs! I was thinking of a second Kalidus, hypothetically, but even if they do, they probably still die. We get two food off the Kalidus, let's go. <laughs> yeah, Kari Zev is very good against Kalidus. Very good against Monogreen, too. Alright, new cards felt pretty good that league. We saw both the Weatherlight and Braids in action. Both felt decent, you know. Lots and lots of fun. I uh, don't think I can keep this. This is better. Like Blood Crypt. Maybe we'll play with two Weatherlight. Uh, I feel like two might be too much. It is legendary. And it is kind of a bad top deck, you know? Why Epic Cure over Bloodside? The pressure that Bloodside do is pretty relevant. I just wanted a split because I like the curve. I don't like having four Bloodside than just having less two drops. So I like the I like the curve a little bit better when you play a split, you know? If that makes sense. I could see like three three harvester, one epicure. What the fuck are they playing? Is this uh is this Soul Flayer? It's gotta be Soul Flayer, right? Maybe it's like Soul Type mid-range. I doubt it's soul type mid range. <laughs> Could be, I guess. I don't know. Braids, huh? Could go braids second oven. Could also just go devil pass. Devil pass is a lot better if I rip a, a cat. Mm. I kind of want to sack the oven though. I kind of want to just get like more real cards. I'm just gonna sack the oven. I think. I, think I like this better. <clears throat> it's not bad. Sulta Trade Binder. Sulta, worst 60 cards you've ever seen. <laughs> okay, Mana Confluence almost certainly means Soul Flare, right? Yeah, okay, Soul Flare. Soul Flare confirmed. <clears throat> Ooh, with Founding the Third Path for a mill four. Also, you can recast Gather the Pack. That's kind of cool. That's actually a really sweet addition to that deck. I like that a lot. Tap. Okay, I guess I can go steal Aetherborn, attack for five, play Weatherlight, end step, braid, sack the Aetherborn to the braids. I think that's good. Let's see their path in Modern Storm. Oh, the third path. Yeah, could be good in Modern Storm. So they go to 14, play Weatherlight. Go to the end step, sack the gifted Aetherborn. If they want to sack... Oh, I wonder if this is bad, because now they get to put the carried in the graveyard, and then they get a hexproof soul flare. I wonder if giving them the option to put this in the graveyard is bad, because they don't have hexproof in their graveyard right now. All right, they chose not to sack it, which is good for us. A lot of bats. Raids a Risen Nightmare. Upkeep Gaze. They have another Aetherborn, so they could play a 4-4 Death Touch Lifelink, but I think they're going to try and wait till they find something, some other keyword. All right, Questing Beasts. Still no Hexproof, though, which is good. Oh, they have a carried it, never mind. Yeah, we lose. <clears throat> I don't think we can beat this. I doubt we can beat this. Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Lifelink, Vigilance. Oh, it doesn't? Wait, there's no flying or trample? Well, we can just brick wall it with Cauldron Familiar, then. Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Lifelink, Vigilance. Okay, this is fine. This is actually fine. Right? Yeah, we can just brick wall it. Uh, what am I doing with Braids this turn is the question. I sack a land? I don't want to sack the cat, because I want to be able to go block the Soul Flayer, sack the cat to the oven. So I don't want to sack the cat. I definitely don't want to sack Braids or Devil. 
I could not use the ability, but like I don't think I need this extra land. I think I think I can just cycle land. We don't need to, but like it gets more damage in, you know? Because if they cycle land, it's two damage. If not, then I draw a card and they lose two life, so. It's just more damage. I don't think we need the fourth land. <clears throat> these new basics are hot. Love these new basics. Upkeep gaze. I guess they could put a second soul flare into play. That could be awkward. Yeah, that could maybe be awkward. Although the second one wouldn't have hexproof. So I could just kill the second one with devil triggers. Yeah, scry off the weather light, which is pretty good. Top that. That's pretty good. Certainly going to top that one. So I won't bring back the cat end of turn because I'm drawing a second devil. Okay, they get two of these. They bricked. It's pretty good. <laughs> nice card, by the way. We're at 11. This isn't lethal, is it? I don't think it's quite lethal. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Uh, I think now I probably pass on the, the braids, right? Get back cat, sack cat. No, I'm just going to pass on the braids. Yeah, I'm just going to chill on the braids. Although, with the second devil, maybe it was worth sacking a land there, because that's four damage. I guess it's worse if I find, like, another three drop, like a third devil, but I'm probably already winning with two devils anyway, so. Uh, but the weather light's going to get turned on next turn, and they don't have a flyer, so I kind of want to keep the weather light. I guess there probably isn't going to be a next turn. <laughs> like, they're just dead. So, I don't know. So many triggers. Uh, bottom. Yeah, I don't need lands. Who needs lands, Giga Chad? Sure. There's no point to this end of turn. They're dead, though. It doesn't matter. They are dead. We defeated the Soul Flare. The atmosphere, no shackles on my face. Just promise you'll stay strong. Our opponent played a 4 4 Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Lifelink, Vigilance, and died very easily. I think my list is nearly ready, just need to decide in the last three or four slots. Oh, what, for NBL? What are you playing, DaVinci, if you want to? You could also not tell me if you want to, but... I made the weather online. I did last match, but my opponent immediately fatal pushed it, so... It's, like, kind of actively bad, you know? Like, it's, you know, you get, like, the first four scries, and then it just instantly dies, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, you know? It's, like, card filtering times four, they have to kill it, and then if they don't kill it, they just take a five ball. It's, it's pretty good. Feels like Soul Flare is only good if you exile Sepulta. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's bring in Go Blank, Hearse. I think all the spot removal is pretty bad. Like, Push doesn't ha has any targets. Eaten Alive, I think, is also not great. Although, Eaten Alive is a little bit better if they don't have Hexproof, because it exiles. But, I'll keep my secret. Okay. Yeah, Weatherlight's been pretty good. I like Weatherlight. Claim is pretty bad. Maybe I want to have, like, Kari Zevs and or Eaten Alive as outs to non-hexproof Zatalpa, because Zatalpa's indestructible, right? Hard Zatalpa. Yeah. But no hexproof, right? So if they have, like, everything but hexproof, then I can still have Kari Zevs or Eaten Alive, so I might want a couple of copies of that. Kari Zevs is probably higher upside. The curve's kind of bad though, now, though. Oh, I want Thoughtseize, actually. What if I just didn't mess with that and just played Thoughtseize? That's probably better, right? Maybe, like, one Eaten Alive could be good as, like, a Misers, just as a, a random out. We've got the Epicures. But, like, one Eaten Alive, one Karizev. Let's try that. I still have no idea when I'm playing an NBL. I had, like, a couple decks in mind that I kind of wanted to play, but I don't think they're very good. Actual grave I hate is weird because opponent can play around it with Delve. Well, I could just main phase the Hearse activation, right? So, to an extent, yes, but... 
like if they pass with their graveyard, you know, because they have gather the pack. So they have to like gather the pack at sorcery speed. And then I can just go hearse, exile the two, you know, abilities that I care about or whatever. Wow, they kept two cards off of the gaze. Gary did, yeah. You don't have priority. I'm saying if they main phase gather and pass, like on turn two, if they gather pass, dump a bunch of cards, then I could just go land, hearse, main phase, activate. You know what I mean? Obviously, if they have four mana and they just go gather plus soul flare, I don't have priority. I understand that, but I guess I should just play hearse. Just in case they like miss. Because if they have to, if they upkeep gaze, then I can just hearse them still in their upkeep. I'm not going to eat the gaze immediately, though. I think I'm supposed to eat the gaze immediately. Yeah, this hearse is really weird against their deck. I do agree. It is kind of weird. So I like EOT the hearse. They probably just don't cast the gaze. Unless they have like gaze decay, maybe. All right, that's kind of awkward. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, so they have indestructible but no hex proof, so we have two outs to that. We have one eaten alive and one Karizev. So although Karizev isn't really an out because it doesn't kill them. Gather the pack. So they hit a lot left troll. Why'd they bring in Go Plank? Alright, how many abilities? Double strike flying indestructible trample vigilance. Not lifelink, though, so I can probably attack with witness just to try and get them to block. I doubt they will, but yeah, probably dead this game. Again, we have we have two outs. Maybe I should bring in more of that stuff for situations like this where they don't hit hexproof. Just bring in like both both uh, both Karis have both eaten alive. I'm at 12. Okay, let's attack with the two witnesses. They have four cards in their hand. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can play Braids. Play a Black Source. Go to my end step. Sack the witness. Never mind. That's not good. Hmm. So this allows me to sacrifice the witness, which I think gives me more looks than just bottoming it, right? Yeah, I think I have to top it. Because I can actually stack the scribe before the witness to get more looks more looks in the witness trigger. It's like kind of an issue. Alright, sack witness. I have to scry first. Where's the Devil trigger going. Probably upstairs. Just wonder if I want to target the troll. I doubt I do. Let's go upstairs. Alright, scry first. Uh I guess that does give me a lot more looks, huh? Alright, I'll top that. It's like a world where we just kill them. What am I looking for? Either Eaten Alive or Kari's Ev's expertise. Both are outs to this. this. This does not have Hexproof, so. Right, we get a Cauldron Familiar and a Dispute. So now I think I go Dispute, Sack, Witness. And then same thing, Scry before the Witness. Bottom that. Okay. That's another Devil. There's the Eaten Alive. Okay. Okay, that's good. So, they're at 11. I'm a little bit worried about this troll. Wait, can I kill them with the complete? I think I'm a little bit short, right? So I can go land second devil, right? Play Takanuma from hand, play devil, crack the treasure, dome them for two, they go to nine. Eaten alive, sack the devil, dome them for two, they go to seven, kill the soul flare, weather light is online, that's five, they go to two. I guess the other line is just like, Eaten Alive, Discard Oven, play Urborg, and then... Or Discard Takanuma, play Urborg, play Oven, Sack of Food, and just nope, just don't, don't play the second devil. It's kind of tough. I'm just trying to think of, like, how I lose to the troll. This is tough. Like, I could play second devil and double block the troll. 
Maybe that's the best line. Maybe I just go Devil, Crack Treasure, Discard, Kill the Soul Flare, Pass with two Devils. I think that's probably... That might be the safest line, actually. Am I playing Modern Bandless Sunday? Yes. Exclamation point NBL. I haven't decided what deck I'm playing, but... Yeah, so now I just discard the Oven. Ooh, what if I target the Troll? No, they just regen it, right? Yeah, they just regen the Troll. Oh, I have to sack a creature. I thought I could discard a card. Well, I guess I have the Weatherlight back, so it's fine. For some reason, I thought I could discard a card. I was thinking of Bone Shards. Yeah, I was thinking this is Bone Shards. It's not Bone Shards. Alright, no attacks. I could attack with the Weatherlight, but I think it's probably safer to hold it back. That was a hell of a turn. That was one hell of a turn. <clears throat> we looked at a lot of cards. Mm. Oh shit, did they hit haste? No, they didn't hit haste. They did hit another soul flare, though. This one has flying, too, which is kind of bad for me. Okay, that probably just kills them, right? So I can go dispute sack weatherlight. Or is it better? It's better to sack food, right? Yeah, I think it's better to sack food. I don't get a trigger off the Weatherlight this way, but... They're at six. Plate Oven... Me two. No, it's not lethal, right? Death Touch, Double Strike, Flying, Indestructible, Lifeling, Trample, Vigilance. Maybe I'm supposed to sack the Weatherlight so I could scry. I think I'm dead now. Well, the attack was lethal. This thing has this has flying. Oh, you're saying last turn if I had attacked, yeah. But like, if they have a creature, they can just go attack with troll. I have to block, and they just trade with the devil. So that's not even necessarily true, right? Because if they attack, then I have to block, right? You know what I mean? So obviously, like hindsight's twenty twenty. But if they just have any creature, they just snap attack, and I have to block. I guess I could just take three and go to one and hope they don't have two creatures, but. Could ping troll if they don't have any creatures. Yeah, I mean, I could have maybe tried to ping the troll last turn, but we would have this turn the mainlands and weatherlight. Bati's is horrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I drew two when I was when I was dead. Like, yeah, Bati's is gonna look bad that game. It's 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 a card I have to have in this matchup, but Go Blank might actually be pretty bad against them. Let's do this. Let's just do this and hope they don't have hex proof, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I am supposed to attack with the the weatherlight there. Kind of tough. Uh, this hand is decent. I can work with this. <clears throat> Animate dead, ping troll with the treasure trigger, then sack weatherlight to oven. When they block, you get their percent plus one ping. Oh, you're saying if I just fire up the den? Maybe I had a lethal line with den. All right, well, I'm going to take salvage, and their hand doesn't do anything. So that's cool. <coughs> That's actually a really good draw. Potentially. Potentially a good draw. So they play Troll. Uh, I guess we're Thoughts Easing. You find another red source. I'm just gonna take Soul Flare. They have three mana confluences. I wonder if I'm at a spot where I'm gonna dispute the, the Weatherlight. I might just do that. That's the second red source. I may just dispute the Weatherlight here. <laughs> Yeah, I think I probably have to. Okay. Uh, not a lot going on here. I could expertise a troll and then sack it, but I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to take one more hit, and then we can reassess next turn. Hand's kind of awkward. <clears throat> Botlith Troll beat down by my worst enemy. Alright, Mayhem Devil. Something. Unlicensed Hearse, huh? Not exactly a Mayhem Devil. So I guess I could Kari Zevs and then Village Rights the Troll just to get... Yeah, I probably have to do that this turn. So let's Kari Zevs the Troll, cast Hearse off of the Kari Zevs, attack, and then post-combat Village Rights sack the Troll. Attack for two. 
Village right, sack troll. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Now we just need a cauldron familiar. I want F6 now. Eat alive exiles both trolls, which is clean. Oh, you're saying instead of the village rights? Yeah, but like, I kind of want to save Eaten Alive for like a bigger creature, like a Soul Flare, maybe. That's not great for me. It's kind of punishment. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to cast Eaten Alive last turn. Just like not, not draw the cards. Just feel like I need to find more gas, you know? Definitely punish against Thoughtseize. All right, their last card is Mana Confluence. I need to pay five mana for this, which I cannot do. All right, your turn. Just just casually losing to a 2-1. No big deal. Just, just can't beat a single 2-1. They draw. They drew. Grizzly Salvage. All right, so Talpa, second troll, kind of awkward. Assume they put troll in their hand, right? Yeah, they did. So last card stroll, probably gonna cast it. Yeah, this is rough. I mean, I guess the hearse kind of bricks the trolls. If I could find any creature to crew it with. Okay, that qualifies. Uh I think I just pass for now. Yeah, I think I just pass. <laughs> yeah, 2-1 tribal. Actual two one tribal, and if they draw if they draw a soul flare, it doesn't do anything. So I mean, it's a four four, I guess. But we may have stabilized. Whoa! What is this attack? Oh, I guess they just regenerate, huh? So it deals two damage. Sure, I guess that makes sense. All right, met four. Did they draw a four four? And drew a Thoughtseize. Well, my hand is basically still the same. Even a land here is fine. I could just pay five mana for an Eaten Alive. Just to stabilize. Just like anything to stabilize, you know? I can always gain some life with Oven if I have to. There we go. That's the card I was looking for. Ding, 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 ding. Mm, is this lethal? This is six, nine. Yeah, this is just lethal, right? <laughs> oh, no, it's crew two. Mm, crew two, huh? Is it lethal? The hearse is six, puts them to six. And then five, four, three, two. Oh, it is lethal, right? Yeah, it's lethal. This is still lethal. Still lethal. Because each oven cat represents three damage. And I even have this for an extra point, too. <laughs> My opponent said cat is not cool. <laughs> Uh, I disagree. I think the cat's pretty cool. This is a sweet match. All right, two and zero. Oh, let's go. Two and zero. Oh. It's like holding on. It's lost. Is there the prediction coming so I can lose more chain of points? We could do a... Uh, we'll do a prediction once we get to the last round. How's that? Types that not everybody has access to. So, like, even though it's... People think it's kind of a Punisher mechanic, it's really not. Uh, this hand's kind of loose, but if I draw a red source, it's kind of nuts. But because you have, like, Epicures and Ovens and Blood Tithe Harvesters, like, you just have... You almost always have an artifact, like an extra artifact lying around, and there's not like, a ton of artifacts that people play in this format, so. What are bad patches for red-black sack in general? I think blue-white control can be a little tough, and I think water green is, raw, is rough, but... Mole, you just, you know, you just have to believe, Ferrando. You just have to believe. Would you have mold if I told you the top card of my deck was going to be Den of the Bugbear? Mm. This matchup is kind of sketchy, because I don't have a lot of instant speed interaction. I have Fatal Push... It's better post board, but 
So, like, this might be a spot where I don't want to play Braids. I might just want to go Oven, hold up Dispute, because that, that can potentially find me a push. But, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just go attack for one. I think I'm not going to cast Braids this turn, because I want to at least give myself the option to hit Fatal Push. I mean, okay, question is, how likely are they to hit a Parhelion in the top five? Because I, I think I can actually beat a uh, a Chariot. You know? This is actually kind of close. Maybe I just jam Braids, Psych Blood Token. It's just such a better use of my mana. You know, obviously if they Grizzly Salvage into Parhelion, maybe I die, but... I think I can pretty easily beat a Chariot with this hand. So it's just, like, exactly Parhelion. And it's not even a guarantee that I draw the push, you know? Like, if I hold up Dispute and I miss on push, then it's super awkward. That's That actually maybe gives me a chance to beat a Parhelion. Because I can steal a 5-5. Five five. And cool. All right, they didn't hit nothing. We're good. See, you just have to believe. They simply will just not have it. It took the Blooming Marsh, which I have to imagine they're playing this turn. Yeah, they didn't do the thing. Braids is nice, though. It's just like it's a big, you know, reasonably static card, draws you cards. It's It feels really powerful. Okay, I got a lot of options this turn. Uh, I guess I'll start with the easy one, attack. No idea what I'm supposed to do this turn, though. They're at 12. I'm thinking... What I'm thinking is Devil Oven, Tap Oven, Sack Epicure, End Step Braid, Sack the Food. That's what I'm thinking. I think that's probably my best line. I could hold up Dispute, but like now they're just dead next turn. I don't even need to hold up Fatal Push because I just have Lethal next turn. So I think I like that play. Maybe I should have played the Oven first. Probably should have played the Oven first. Slightly better sequencing. This thing is really like card drawn. It needs quite a few pieces to get really going. Braids that I said. Yeah, exactly. Braids is like a nice way to like keep the keep the help ch keep churning through your deck. You know. Yeah, it seems a lot better than Ob. It also is just more pressure. You know, like it's just the curve of Blood Tithe Harvester into Braids is what you need against Mono Green if they have turn three card draw, right? Honestly, at this point, even if they have Parhelion, I think we're, I think we still win. Like we, we can just kill them next turn. This hand almost certainly kills them. And they didn't hit Parhelion anyways. Oh, they did. Okay, never mind. But yeah, I don't think it matters. We should we should have lethal. This should be the easiest lethal of all time. Op has always felt like a sideboard card for control matches, honestly. Yeah, that's true too. I've I mean, recently I've been I basically cut all the obs from my deck for fables, and I only sideboarded like one ob, so. Yeah, I could steal an angel, eat and alive the other angel, like this game's super over. <clears throat> Unless they have some way to kill my Mayhem Devil, but they have, like, Witherbloom Command, kill the Oven, still dead. They're not even killing the Oven. Ah, uh, I don't know about that one. That's a little, that's a little sus. Probably wanted to kill the Oven there, but again, it just doesn't matter. All right, game two against the Grease Fang. Hearse good. Go blank, decent-ish. The claims are all pretty bad, I think. Like, all the sorcery speed removal is not very good against them. Uh, a braid's good. So this is 60. I could consider Thoughtseize. Is there a card that I like Thoughtseize over? I don't know. Yeah, new boat. New ship. New ship. <clears throat> How good is Thoughtseize against them? It's kind of medium sometimes. Because they, like, the thing about Thoughtseize versus them is they have so many, like, effective copies of Grease Fang with Grizzly Salvage and, like, Seder Wayfinder with Can't Stay Away. Like, I don't even think Thoughtseize is that good against them. Yeah. Two to three seems good. What do you want to cut for it, though? Maybe the Weather Light's too slow in this matchup. I like Braids. I think Braids is decent. I could trim on Braids. It's more of, like, a grindy type card. What if we do, like, trim a braids, trim the weather light? I know we're cutting new cards, feels bad, man, but I'll do two thoughties. I was quite excited about the card until I finished reading. So it's felt really powerful. The The only thing, like, the awkward part about, uh, this hand's really sketch. If they have an answer to Hearst, this hand's terrible. But I think on the draw, I'm supposed to keep this hand. So the thing about the Weatherlight is it's good up until it becomes a creature, because it almost always dies. 
But like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, like it's two mana, essentially scry four. I know it's over the course of a couple of turns, but two mana, essentially scry four. That's bad. And they have to have an answer to it because it will kill them pretty, pretty quickly, you know. So like, it's felt okay. So I could sack witness main phase to try and rip exactly Thoughtseize. Or no, I can witness on their turn to hit push, right? And I have more thought more pushes than Thoughtseize, so I should just do it that way. I have three push, two Thoughtseize, so higher likelihood of hitting push. They did not hit a vehicle. Salvage path or excuse me, pathway, courtyard. Can't stay away with Leanna Decay, so they hit a land. But no vehicle, which is good. I still might end of turn sack the witness, because I'm likely tapping out for Devil next turn. We're still playing Supplier? Boo. I hate this card. I don't think this card's very good anymore. I basically just replaced this with Liliana when I was playing this deck. Fiends Informant. Is the fan still on top of my computer? Yeah, can you hear it? Like, how bad is it? I mean, now I could just play Devil. Yeah, it's probably better to not sack here. Yeah, what if I just did this? Play Devil, and then pass. Was it ever good? I mean, a lot of people played it, but... Oh, you can't hear it? That's good. Yeah, the fan is, is still on top. I cleaned off the fan, so it... No more, like, dust and particles blowing from the fan into the computer, but... Yeah, it's it's still there. <laughs> I, I Well, I took it off last night before I went to bed, and then I woke up this morning, and my computer was fine, but as soon as I booted up OBS, that's when, the, that's when it started overheating again, so... I forget I would just fire up the fan. Okay, tap land. They have Grease Fang, can't stay away, but still no vehicle. So I... Th do I still keep waiting here? Yeah, I think I still keep waiting. That's really interesting. I mean, the thing is, I think it's pretty hard for them to, like, both mill over a thing. I don't know. I think it's fine to do it this way, because and the reason I shock there is because I can sack the witness on their turn to hit push. Mono black rectus sack. What do you mean? Did I not change the title? I thought it did. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I did change the title. I just left the mono black part in. <laughs> Whoops. Professional streamer, by the way. They hit a chariot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mono Bractus. We don't know that they have a can't stay away in their hand, though. Okay, so that resolves. Okay, so the question is, do I sack the witness now to try and hit push, or do I let them go to attacks with the vehicle and just sack the witness when they and kill the two-two that they target with the chariot? Well, I won't, I can't necessarily kill it. I'd have to hit push off of the witness. Like, it might be better to just, like, do this pre-combat, start killing off their smaller creatures, but then it's kind of awkward because they get more tokens. Going for bushes, playing to win. I don't necessarily think I'm even behind on board when they get the chariot in play. Chariot's not that concerning to me. Like, I have, I have two devils to pick off a lot of their tokens, but... It feels like it's kind of the same thing, because I'm, I'm killing off two creatures either way, you know what I mean? It's pretty close. I think it's pretty close. Alright. Didn't hit, but again, I think we're still fine. Like, we're going to take a little bit of damage here, they're going to get some tokens, but... They don't have another thing for the Grease Fang. You know, if we can just kill the Grease Fang next turn... This is honestly not that bad. It's like, it's really not that big of a deal. We have devils to brick wall the... We have devils to brick wall the 2-2, the so it's like... It's honestly whatever. I could double block, but double block's kind of bad. I think I'm still... I'm still ahead this game, I think. Except they get to recast the cat bus. Sure. But I have a braid. Uh, okay, let's go Harvester. I think I'm going to go Harvester, play Hive, and just hold up the rest of my mana. Although, I kind of want to... Actually, I'm just going to discard the Hive, because I want to hold up a Braid plus use the Blood Token. So I'm just going to loot away the... I'm just going to loot away the Hive with the Blood Token, I think. <coughs> but yeah, they don't really have good attacks now. Like, we have the Cats bricked. This is pretty fine. 
And then if they ever find Barhelion, we have the Abraid. We also can just, like, sack a blood, sack the Harvester to get four Devil Triggers to kill this. Like, I think we're fine. Boat! Yep, boat. Yep, boat. Okay, that's a problem. That's a little bit more of a problem. Mostly because it kills the Devil, which is super awkward. Because the second Devil is kind of what was keeping my, keeping me ahead on board. So... I think I respond, loot the hive. Um, do I want to kill the Grease Fang? I'm going to get four triggers here. I think it's better to just kill two cats, and then I can kill the Grease Fang with next turn with the Abraid. Yeah, what if I just Abraid the boat now, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to kill two cats, I think. Maybe I should just be going upstairs. Just, like, not even trying to kill them. That's not bad, either. Alright, let's go sack this devil. Kill this. Get a food. Could have maybe also sack the food to kill another cat, but... Alright, nothing to trigger the Grease Fang. Uh, I might want to use my mana, especially since I have a Revolt Trigger right now, just to push the Grease Fang. It's like, I know I'm going to make that play regardless. Might as well just free up my mana now. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, that was disgusting. <laughs> was that a good draw? Oh shit, I should have abraded first. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I should have 100% abraded first. Small mistake. I'm just gonna chill though, it's fine. Yeah, I should have I should have braided first. I mean they have no cards, no cards to hit, no cards in graveyard. I think we're still winning. But yeah, that was a, a small mistake. I should have done that first. I mean, arguably doing it this way makes them like tap creatures. Obviously it's worse if they draw Grease Fang, but right, crew the Yep boat. Crew the Yep boat. What did they draw? What did they draw? It's also possible I was supposed to sack the harvester to kill the supplier, and then like sack sack it to the oven, kill the kill the supplier, and then um and then play the go blank. Mill three, blow up the oven. I want to sack anything in response. If I draw a land, I kind of want a third food in play, but it's also probably better just have the Harvester, because it's more pressure. I think I'm just okay with this. Get okay, hit a Concealed Courtyard. So, play Courtyard, no cards. No Blood Token. No, 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 I can just sack the Harvester to the oven to get a food. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I can just afford to attack with both. I, they get to mill with the Supplier, which is a little awkward, but I'll try and get this game over with. <clears throat> I assume they chump block. Yeah, could have also maybe sacked a food to kill the supplier, which, like, deals four more damage, essentially. Yeah, Might have been a spew. Yeah, because now, now if they find, like, can't stay away or Grease Fang, I'm so fucked because they have the boat. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get massively punished for not casting a braid before they go blank. That was so bad. All right, so I think I end of turn sack to food to kill the cat, and then if I draw a blank, I can sack the blood to kill the wayfinder. Uh, that's not a blank. I will keep that one in hand. Sack for seven. They probably jump block. Go to eight. Play braid. Sack the blood to the braids. Stairs. Is there five? If they hit Grease Fang Boat, they can kill the Braids and the Devil and go to one. Seems like they did not. Three and out. Let's go. Yeah, Braids. Cherry's likely playing Mono Green. I don't think he is allowed to play anything else. And is kind of sketchy against Mono Green, but not playing Mono Green? This isn't the Cherry that I know. Oh, regarding Psyching Lands? Yeah, sure, sure. 
Warlock class. I should play Ridge on one. That can go Oven Epicure on two. Probably not a great Fatal Push matchup. Okay. I'd probably take Epicure. <laughs> My hand kind of sucks without the Epicure. Warlock class secret box deck, yeah. Interesting. I want okay. I guess they wanted to do that rather than take both ovens. Respectable. Because now I have nothing to do with the ovens. Ooh. When the connections are under the world. I kinda think I'd rather have the land than the third oven. I don't think the third oven's doing much. This card's gonna be hard to beat. Oh boy. Their deck looks sick. I wonder, I wonder how many shieldreds they have. Yeah, I mean... Oh, I can't even cast it, right? Because that's a sack creature. Well, uh, we are dead. Like, mega ultra super dead. Never been more dead than this in my life. Model Black Devotion is a deck that I have on my docket. Uh, there's just so many decks with the new set that I want to play. Lane line main deck. Respect. Leyland shuts off my witness, too. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I can kill the Liliana. It's not good, but... Oh, man. Yeah, I guess they have four Mythic Leylands. Rough for me. It already probably was a bad matchup, and adding Leyland on top of that probably doesn't make it any better. This makes me kind of want to try out Mono Black Devotion. Okay. You just, like, don't have any good draws here. Oh, no. They can fire up the second chapter of the class. What's the second chapter do? Okay. Not a ton, but... Alright, it's a creature, I guess. Gray Merchant. That just kills us, right? I guess we have food to sack, but... Yeah, Leyland's and Devotion are kind of cool. Uh, I guess I can kill the Liliana. And this puts me to one, right? Because I take two. Yeah, so they're putting me to one right now. Maybe I'm not supposed to care about the Liliana, but like... <clears throat> Yeah, the cool thing, like, I remember playing Mono Blue Devotion with the blue ley line, and the fact that you could, like, start the game with ley line and play, which gave you more devotion, which was, that that was a really sweet aspect of the, of playing ley line specifically with devotion, and, like, yeah, the, I mean, Cherry's deck looks fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie, this deck looks incredible. Our draw was pretty bad, to be fair, but, you know. Alright, uh, Fatsy seems very bad. I don't even have that many good cards. I mean, Fatal Push is horrible. Claim is also probably bad. Maybe I keep in a couple of claims. Uh, he likely has Kalidus, so I'll bring in Karizevs. I guess if I'm bringing in Karizevs, I'd probably cut all the claims. Uh, Go Blank is just like a shitty Mind Rot. Dreadbore, I guess, could be good. Maybe like Eaten Alive, one claim. Yeah, let's try that. That is zero up into 75. Yeah, it's just like with braids, you don't have a lot of room for, for threes. You could play it in the sideboard, maybe it's like one or two of, but I think braids braids has been really impressive, and I think braids is a better main deck card. Mm, okay. Don't ley line me, bro. Dodge the ley line, that's good. Hands got a nice little curve. You want ob's for control? Braids is really good against control. Not near, not as good as ob probably, but. Just gonna play a Harvester. Oh, I shouldn't have played the Urborg. Just gave them free information. I mean, I would technically rather have the Urborg in play, but... Okay, well, they're probably losing this game. <laughs> they're probably losing this game. I think I want to Dispute Sack the Blood Token. And just play Sokens on pass. And then if they have land plus... If they have land plus meat hook, I can just village rights. 
I could have go blank them, but I kind of wanted to keep the treasure to fire up a creature lane next turn. But yeah. Well, just draw the creatures, five head. Simply just draw your creatures. And they will die. Mm, Asan doesn't have nearly as many two drops. It in fact has all three drops. I don't like I don't see a world where this hand ever beats them. Ship it. This isn't great, but I think it's like slightly better than the first hand just because it has a two drop, but <clears throat> it's not great. <laughs> the weather light completed. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. This is kind of rough. This is kind of rough. Discarded Leyline. I play Braids. I just instantly downtick. Is there any world I just wanted to speed sack the Weatherlight? It's so like tap land, go. They uptick Lily. I respond, dispute to get more information on what to discard with the Lily. And then I can try to spike like a one drop to sack to eat and alive to kill the Lily next turn. It's like playing braids just doesn't accomplish anything, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could sack a land, but. Grrr. I gotta fire this now, I think. Yeah, now they just take the Eden alive. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. God, if this was Bone Shards. Watsy, if you're listening, please, 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 for the love of God, just give us Bone Shards and Pioneer. Bone Shards is so much better than this card. It's just like... At least so crazy when you have like one creature draws. Yeah, exactly. When you can't like protect a Liliana. You know, it looks kind of embarrassing when you play cards like this, but... I mean, I, I have a good turn. I can just go like Witness Braids next turn, which is not bad, but... They have two cards. So yeah, I can just go Witness Braids. Witness Braids, Sack the Treasure... Uh, well, never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> Can maybe pressure the Liliana next turn with the Hive? Really? Okay, I'm cool with that. I think I'm a-okay with that. Sure. Oh, they have Fatal Push. <clears> hmm. <throat> Two cards in hand. Very, very likely have Fatal Push. Is that a class? Yeah, it's Warlock's class. What if I just went Harvester plus Devil? They, they minus the Lily. The other thing that I could do is I could go Harvester Devil, Sack Treasure for mana, Sack the Blood, discard the Pathway, put the Lily to one, and they can't downtick it. Their hand is Double Grey Merchant. Could be. I kind of like Harvester plus... Um, I like Harvester plus Devil, I think. Oh, right, but if I play the Devil... If I go land Devil, don't sack treasure, then I don't have a, I don't have a card in hand to sack to the blood. I think that's fine, though. Yeah. I kind of want to keep the treasure around. I think it's slightly better to do it this way. And then if they downtick Lily, I'll just sack Harvester, which kills the Lily because of the Devil. And I don't have to sack anything else. I can keep all my permanents, which is pretty good. I think I did it backwards. No, you're supposed to play this first, I think. <clears throat> Why does it matter the order in which I cast these? I guess this is bad if they have another Liliana. That would be a disaster. I also didn't float mana in response. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> sure, also fine. <clears throat> Two cards left. Village Rites. I don't particularly want to sacrifice my Devil, so I think I should just loot that with the Blood Token and try to spike. Uh, I kind of want to ping the Aetherborn. Sucks if I miss, but... I guess that kills all of their stuff. Wait, why did I do that? I don't want to sack the Devil, I just don't care about this thing. I think I fucked up. I think I was not supposed to do it this way. I should have just paid five mana to exile this. And just let them keep the rider. 
which I guess I'm just gonna do anyways, but I just missed the I missed two points of damage. Right. Yeah, I just missed two points of damage doing it this way. Can't you control Z? No, because you've already resolved the devil trigger. So yeah, I, I missed one point of damage that way. Can sack the land. I don't want to. I want to keep the land. That's bad. Oh shit. Sink her three times. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, probably can't win this game. Probably can't win this game. We did. 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 Play first. Keep. No one drop, but turn two harvester. Turn two harvester, turn three devil with village rights. I think this hint's gotta be a keep. One like four. Yeah, the group Barhelian gamble was uh was something. Man, ton of shit ton of mono white today. Just like mono white everywhere. I blame Eli for this. This should be a good matchup, but it's literally everywhere. <laughs> Literally everywhere. I think I'm blocking. Mm. Am I blocking? I don't know if I should block. <clears throat> so I can play Devil and basically trade the Harvester for the Aspirant. So here's what I'm worried about. If I Devil pass, like no attacks, what I'm worried about is they just go land... Brutal Cathar, kill the devil, and then make the Brutal Cathar a 3-3, so then I can't kill it with the Harvester. That's what I'm worried about. So, like, I... But I don't know. I, I'm supposed to save it, I think. I, I think I'm supposed to save it. Yeah, I'm supposed to save it 100%. I just... I don't want to waste it on just an Aspirin. I can get so much more out of it, you know? Check the new Rogues build I posted on Discord. Let's peep it. Academy Lore Master. Is that the Howling Mine? 2 3? It's kind of interesting. I don't hate it. Tainted Indulgence, Drown, Thought Thief. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'd have to play with that card a little bit to see if I actually like it. Okay, no, uh, no Brood Gathar. That's good for me. Very, very good for me. Also, probably the best draw in my deck. All right, let's play Cat. I'm going to go Cat, Weatherlight, Pass. Weather light and your turn. I don't want to sack the harvester when they have open manix. They very likely have uh, God's willing. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. Like we can we can basically make them act. They can't sit here forever. We're gonna you know we have the much better long game. So we'll eventually have to do something. Oh, I wonder if they held that up. They probably held that right. Okay, so I can force the brave out this turn. But they have to put a counter on the Cathar. Wait, really? I'm confused. Not killing the devil. Uh, Alright, I'll just draw, draw some cards. <laughs> That's very strange. Why wouldn't they kill the devil? Very, very strange. I don't know. I wonder if that means they don't have Brave. I don't know, I'm confused. Sure. Yeah, this is fine. No blocks. All right, I'm going to lead on Fatal Push to, to try to bait the Brave. And then I can do some other stuff after. So lead Fatal Push, card I actually care about. <clears throat> they cast the Brave. And then we can kind of just go ham. All right, I will respond. Dispute Sack Cauldron Familiar. I think I'm going to ping the Aspirant. Yeah, let's ping the Aspirant. I maybe could have pinged the Cathar, but... Uh, that one's fine. Yeah, I'll keep that. Flame's pretty good. So now we can go... Blood Token, Discard Hive, ping the Aspirant, draw a card... And then we can sack this for black. Ping the aspirant. This resolves. They chose black. 
So now we get to go claim this play oven. And now we basically just ended their whole career. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bad attack, right? They have pro black, whatever. I don't think it matters. I think we are fine. Sure, I'll keep that. Why not? All right, your turn. Your move. Was that a good turn, chat? Type a one in chat if you think that was a good turn. Session in three, two, one. Oh no, the extraction specialist. Shit, can't beat it. Cannot defeat it. Is Braids better than Ob? I think it is. I think it is. This is an interesting attack. Very, very interesting attack. Like so, the cool thing about braids, and I, I've talked about this a couple of times, it's just more pressure. So the your worst matchup, which I think is mono green, right, whatever, it's fine. I don't even care. But I think your worst matchup is mono green, and the cool thing that braids does is it um it gives you more ways to add pressure early, which is really important when you're like you can go turn two harvester turn three braids you have two three power creatures in play which gives you like this kind of you know more insurance against karn so it's like that's that's at least like why i think it's a lot better uh i'm just gonna kill these two idiots so play it out or so play it out it seems like they don't want to play it out it appears that my opponent does not want to play it out got this matchup is so easy all right, go blank bad, expertise bad. Dreadbore is like awkward against uh, Brave the Elements, so I don't know, but it is a removal spell. I probably should have it in my deck. This might finally be a bad matchup for Braids, but because all my other cards are kind of cracked. This is this is usually a spot where I cut the obs. It's just like, how good is Braids against them? I don't know. I feel like that's not necessarily what the matchup is about, you know, like card advantage. Because whether that th whether the spot is like Fable or Ob, it's the card I usually cut in this matchup for additional removal spells. So I think, especially on the draw, maybe the first Braids is better than the Weatherlight, though. I could see that. I could see that. Weatherlight's also really slow. It does hit harder, though, so maybe it has higher upside. Uh, don't think that's going to do it. Okay, this is how you lose this matchup. Well, the five. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to keep three lands Devil Dreadbore. <clears throat> we found a way to lose this matchup. Okay. Not horrible. <coughs> this is why Dreadbore kind of stinks, because like you don't want to kill their early creatures. Yeah, I mean, I I'm going to cast it next turn. Probably going to kill the Lieutenant, I think. Eh, it's probably better to kill this. Kind of close. I might chump block with the Witness this turn. They play a human pre-combat. Also, killing this is better if they have Extraction Specialists, because I don't want to get them more counters. Adeline. Well, would have liked to Dreadboard dread that one, huh? Simba, thank you for the three months. Appreciate you, buddy. Welcome back, welcome back. Well, that's bad. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, it's awesome. I lied, it's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, play this land. Dispute, sack the Adeline, and your turn. You can go Devil plus Dispute next turn. It's pretty good. Four four, but I can jump block the four four. <laughs> Fatal push could draw too. All right, let's go. I think mayhem devil. I think it's just devil and chill, right? I don't have to do anything. We can make them act. We just have all instants. I don't want to play into brave the elements. I can also jump block this thing for a turn. Like <clears throat> what I might do is like block with the human. <laughs> I might just go, like, block the human, sack with dispute. 
Sack this, ping this. Yeah. Gotta head to pre release. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take it easy, JS. I will see you tomorrow. I might try to play the modern challenge. We'll have to see. Okay. So, what I want to do is I'm going to respond. I'm going to sack this for black. Target the Brutal Gathar. I guess doing it this way is kind of awkward. Because now they just... Yeah, now they just God's Willing, or now they Brave. Yeah. But then I guess I can still push. No, I can't push, because they're going to get the Pro Black. It's fine. We take, like, a somewhat sizable hit, and I, th I think we'll be okay. I, I just don't really think it matters too much. Yeah, who cares? Take seven. The re this game's over. Take seven, go to four. They have no cards. We can just start by sack this, push this. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Crack for black. Push this. I guess we don't have a sack outlet to sack the lieutenant. Uh, so maybe there's no point in casting claim the firstborn. Yeah, it's actually probably better to just go unlucky witness plus braids. Right? I don't want to sack the witness, though, because I want to have a red and a black creature in play. So I don't die to Brave off the top. So I think I'm just not going to sack anything to Braids. Oh, you're saying I had the Braids to sack the Lieutenant. Right, I'm a dumbass. I could have played... Yeah, I could have claimed instead of done that. Okay, you're right. That was bad. Right, I could have just went claim this, attack, play Braids, sack this. You're right, I'm playing too fast. Yeah, you're right. I, th I think we're fine, though. I think we're good. I don't think there's a card in your deck that kills me, so... <laughs> but yes, that was... That was, uh, that was a hashtag punt. Sack a land and kill at 2-1. Yeah, maybe, but like, if I, I kind of maybe want all my mana next turn. We're not going to lose, it's fine. I'm going to sack Shepet dunes. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think that's going to work out for you. I don't think that's going to work out for you. And then we just chump block this, steal it. Yeah, this, this game's over. The game is over. All right, Breed's broken, huh? Braids has felt pretty good, I will say. Braids has felt pretty good. Big, big fan of Braids. Play the Cauldron Familiar. Return. They're at one. <laughs> All right. Four and one, only being defeated by the ultimate powerful Cherry X-Man on Mono Black Devotion. I will say Cherry's deck looked really sweet. I'm uh, I'm definitely hyped to play some Mono Black Devotion. Um, but yeah, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, Braids felt awesome. I think this card is a really good addition, a lot better than uh, the Fables and Obnix lists that we've seen in that spot before. Weatherlight was okay, came up a couple of times. Uh, I think it's fine as the, the first copy is fine. But yeah, Braids is first showing of Braids. Definitely a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to smash the like button. So